It's an honor to be here with you today to celebrate the marriage of Nina and Sam. Getting to this day has been an incredible journey, and I mean that both literally and figuratively, that they've managed to bring together people from all over the world. So I wanna thank you all for coming to New Hampshire today. There's one other sense uh, in which it's been a journey to get here, and that's the journey of Nina and Sam's relationship. Uh, they're both globe trotters. They've lived and traveled all over the world. And through the miracle of the modern era, they met each other and came together to create the amazing relationship that's brought us all here today. that uh, swiping right on each other would lead to the best decision of our lives. I know this was something special from the moment that we connected. You spoke about how you almost blew, your, blew up your apartment because you didn't close your homemade calzone properly and it exploded in the oven. Um, I wasn't convinced that you should be trusted around ovens, but I knew that I wanted to be the one to keep you from burning the house down. But you, um, you've taught me so much in these last five years, Sam, that uh, since we've been together, you have such immense patience and you are always willing to go along with my crazy plans. Um, you're the most amazing dog dad to Moxie, and you're such a loving kaka to our uh, lovely niece, Ananya. And I'm so lucky to be marrying you today. Nina, you are the love of my life. I vow to take care only, not only of you, but of Moxie, any future fur babies, and also myself since you seem to like me so much. We come from backgrounds that are similar in many ways, but are also very different. I vow to continue learning about your culture, especially if it means eating delicious food. I vow to respect and consider your thoughts and opinions, even if they do not at first align with my own. You have treated me so well in the years since I've known you and brought so much life to my life. And I vow to treat you as well in part for the rest of my life. Whatever life brings, I vow to love you and care for you always. These little gestures are what make Nina and Sam's relationship so special. The way they lean on each other, take care of each other, and ultimately bring a little bit of sweetness into each other's lives. Nina was the dreamer. She talked about the importance of love, friendship, and partnership. She longed for a life-changing love, one that could be joyously celebrated for years to come. And today, I am so proud to say that she has found that in Sam. Cheers to Sam and Nina. By the powers vested in me as the officiant of this wedding, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Nina and, and Sam, uh, Judy and I are just so delighted that you found that something special in each other. Here is a toast to all of you and to Sam and Nina for a very healthy and happy married life. Cheers. We're so happy for you, Sam and Nina. We love you both very much, and we're so excited to have an opportunity to celebrate with you. I'll, I'll close out with a little poem. Had I the heavens embroidered cloths, wrought with gold and silver light, the bright and the blue and the dim cloths of light and night in the half-light, I would spread the cloths at your feet, But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I've spread my dreams beneath your feet. Tread softly, for you tread on my dreams. <laughs>